Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. Last time, we were in the desert looking for C-Tan. Dr. Dr. D. Dr. Cy tan where you at, bruh? Nah, we found his ass, sort of. More like he found our ass. Anyways, after the little skirmish we had in the desert, we got captured by the Ave soldiers, right? I believe these are Ave soldiers. Anyway, or no, they're Ger Gerber? Gerber? I can't even remember what fucking names they are. It starts with a G. Gerber babies. I don't know. I think we're supposed to take a nap, so let's go ahead and do that, maybe. Or maybe we're just supposed to try and leave. Or maybe I have no fucking idea. See, Tan, you know? To get you to ride in that gear. Doc, before the village was destroyed, I lived without doubting myself. But it's different now. I don't know who I am. I've never felt like this before. Pretty sure I heard that already. How do I? Well, we cannot do anything as long as we are prisoners, even if we wanted to. Let us rest a little. Maybe it will sort out your feelings a little. Oh, that's right. I forgot how to do it already, and it's only been one goddamn episode. I'm supposed to talk to Saitan over here and go ahead and take a nizzy nap. It was him. No mistake. That was no coincidence. Could it be that we are approaching the time of the gospel? Gospel? Oh, God. This game, nobody, y'all weren't kidding for those of you who already know this game. This story is really crazy already. Who the fuck is this guy, Emperor? He looks fucking creepy as shit. Uh, oh, and Saitan's talking to him. What the fuck? Why are we floating in the middle of who the hell knows where? With the fucking video game backdrops spinning around like they're, like we're in the middle of a fucking cyber universe type of thing. Anyway, what the fuck voice am I going to give this weird looking thing? Yes! The gospel! We are the two. Sorry, let me start that over. We are the people expelled from paradise and forced to live on the cruel surface of the earth. Who we who feed this land with once again return to the presence of God in paradise and live there eternally. That is the time of the gospel. That time is at hand. We, the gazelle, must find God's resting place by then and resurrect him. That is our final prayer. Our final prayer? Our final prayer to escape from the fate that was determined at our genesis. I wish I could do my whisper voice better, but my nose is still not letting me. I'm still, like, congested or whatever. It's kind of annoying. Anyways. Majesty, is this the end? What is Saitan all about? What does he know? Who's he Who's he working for? Who are you working for, Doc? So mysterious so far. Hmm. Hard to really have an opinion about anything, really. So much mystery to the story so far. Bingo! Just as the report said, an Ave transport. And look what we have on top. What do we have on top? Oh, snap. Somebody's looking for Welltall. No mistaking it. That's a new Kislev model. It has to be the stolen gear everyone is after. So who the hell's... Everyone? Who's Who says something like that everyone is after? Who's this guy? Whatever the case, there's no way we are going to let that Shakan guy have it. So who's this? This guy doesn't look familiar. Have we met this guy before? I don't think so. Gunner! Turn A, Anton, and turn B, Belta, can initiate their ectrobometers 20 seconds after opening their hatches. France! I don't know what voice to give this guy. I don't hear anything other than the flowing sound of the sand. No suspicious radar activity detected. Maybe I should give him, like, a dude voice. Marcellus! Matria's units are on standby at the catapults. They'll all be able to launch one minute after we resurface. Good dudes, let's do it! Batcon level one! Go! Surface combat ready. Torpedo room ready. Anti-gear guns ready. Navigation and engineering, engineering are also ready. Who the fuck is this old man? Young master, what is happening? What was all the alarm about? I can't read today. It's, I'm just super off. Who the fuck is this guy? There's too many people. I can't do all these voices. Not again. Young master. Now hold on a second. Battle stations, everyone. Surface navigation. Begin operating the sand pumps. 
Prepare to fire starboard cannons upon surfacing. Young master. Young master. I can't do all these voices, man. Trim to the right, dudes. The wind is strong up there, and we may be blown off balance. Jericho, hand the helm over to me, brah. I got this, bro. Is this who's captured us, or is this who's following the well tall thing? Look, what is that? I need to figure out whose voices I'm going to be doing here. I don't want to do all those people's voices. That's a lot of people's voices. Who's the one we're actually going to have as a character, I wonder? If I have to worry about all three of them, there's no way in hell I'm going to be able to do so many different voices. Especially right now with my fucking congested ass nose. A sand cruiser? It must be those desert pirates. Uh oh. That's most likely who's following us. Well then. Desert pirates? Sounds like my kind of bunch. Hell yeah. I'm down for some desert pirates. Nice little emblem on the front. Looks kind of majestic. Oh no! Seems like a battle's about to happen, guys. Alternate firing between A Anton and B Belta. Calculating adjustments. Aw, yeah, brah! Switch modes over to salvos after the initial shots. Let's slow them down. Get ready to give them the spanking they won't forget. Young master, please wait. It may just be a requisition ship, not a warship. Let me handle this, okay? Whether it's a warship or not, it's carrying a new gear. Thank you very much. Gunner, let them have that shit. Okay, bruh? Sounds like he's about to fuck that shit up. Oh boy, and I think we are on that shit. Oh, oh! Oh boy. Now we really need to get the fuck out of here. We're under attack! It doesn't sound too good out there, bro. I'm saying bro a lot, thanks to that fucking surfer voice. Judging by the angle, it seems as if the gun blast has made a hole in the hull. We will probably sink within minutes. Sink? A few minutes? Doc! It is locked. Somebody free us! Ah! Oh well, the sand helped. Shit, we're gonna have to get out of here before the sand crushes us to death. Let's get out of here, Doc! Oh boy. So, oh my god. Oh, good lord. Oh my, we have to fight. We have to fight for our right to party. There, there, I don't know what he said. It went away. I didn't even press anything and it just went away. I don't know if we are timed here, but I'm gonna grab everything I see. Survival tent, yes. Yes, please. I'll survive. I will survive. Just as long as I know how to love and have a survival tent, I will stay alive. All right, let's move. Move out. Move out. Move out. I hope we can't actually die in here. That'd be very sad. Rosal. Rosasol. I don't How do you say that? Rosasol? Rosasol? Pinesol? Can we please stop throwing me out the damn door? Oh, my God. I tried to turn the camera. I don't even know why I bother. Holy shit. I can't run through the goddamn door. Seriously? Holy shit. How hard was that? Alright, that's the last time I turned the goddamn camera. Get, get me down this... Why would you want to go down a ladder? You shouldn't want to go down a ladder. Not when you're under freaking sand, man. That seems counterproductive. You should want to go up a ladder. Then again, the ladder may have been upside down. So maybe we did go up a ladder. But these stairs look like they're right side up, so never mind. Where am I going? Oh, wait, I see treasures. I see treasures. I'm getting them. All treasures will be mine. Oh, what? There's random battles here, or does the treasure chest have a random battle? What is this shit? How come it had such a long ass time before I actually fought a battle? Hey, you know what just occurred to me? That was Saitan who just attacked. Hello, Saitan. Oh, and Faye has five attacks now? Man, this is awesome. Time to be me. Faye has five combo, and Saitan is over here, and he can. This is our first time actually using Saitan in a battle. I'd be curious to know how you guys would pronounce Saitan's name. I mean, I'm saying, I've said his name like three different fucking ways, but like, I've called him Kitan, Satan, Saitan. How do you guys say it? I mean, the Doc is the easiest way to say it, but, like, or to refer to him, but how do you say his name? I'm going with Saitan because I just like saying it that way, 
extra armor plus one. That must be a gear piece, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I'd be curious to know what you guys think about the pronunciation of Doc's name. I don't know. I just... It's not like it's a big deal, but I'm just curious. How do I get back up? How do I get back up? How do I get back up? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. How do I get back up? Uh, oh my god. I'm, am I fucked? Where's the ladder? Oh my god. How do I... How do I... Dude, there's no ladders. Dude! How... Oh my god. How do I get out of here? I feel like I'm stuck, bro. Brosnikovs. Punch some fools in their faces. I like that combo. That was good. Let's try a little bit of a square square triangle combo. Sounds good. I wonder if my menu tells me like what kind of combos I've been doing that I'm almost unlocking the, the blitz or whatever the hell they're called. The gambit. What were they, what were they called again? I already forgot what those are called too. Man, I feel like the way I've been playing this game, I just keep forgetting what everything is called. Senretsu, huh? I think that was... I don't know. I don't know. I should just look at my menu. Maybe My menu probably can tell me exactly what the combos are I can do. But right now, I'm not concerned about the menu. I'm concerned about getting the fuck out of here. How the fuck do I get out? I just want to get the fuck out. I just want to get the fuck out. How do I get the fuck out. This is bad. This is very bad. I don't. I I don't. I don't. There's gotta be a ladder. Or a oh this is this is a ladder? Fuck! I didn't see that ladder. Fuck my life. Okay, whatever. We found our way. Thank you. Jesus. That was kinda new, but it's really hard to tell what's what around this area, man. You really can't see where you are. You can't see what I'm doing. Square, square, triangle, man. I'm, I like the fact that I can do that. I guess I could do triangle, square, square. That sounds like a better idea. Seems to me that starting with the lower one and getting to the higher combo is a better idea. Dude, don't die, Faye. If, I swear to God, if you die, I'm going to be pissed. I have plenty of healing items, so I, I want to be able to use them. Don't be missing, you son of a bitch. Here we go. Triangle, square, square, in the face. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna heal because Bay almost died there. I'm not sure what happens when you die in battle. I haven't I haven't died in a battle yet. Like, do you need a Phoenix Down type of item to revive, or is it just when the battle's over you go back to having one HP? I always like the games that do that. It's pretty convenient when they do that. I'm gonna use up these Hob Jerkies before I use up Aqua Souls. Aqua Souls are clearly the better option. Oh boy, I knew there was a hole there. Saw it coming. Tried to jump. It's too late. Whoa! Made it. Now, oh, 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 hold on. Gotta get my, gotta, gotta get my bearings. Chaka. All right, we're good, we're good. I uh, want this treasure. Thank you. Receive leather vest. Cool. Probably better than whatever else I got equipped right now. Dang, you gotta be really careful. Oh no! Right when I was almost there. Ooh, I was almost there, man. Cool. Let's be a little more. Oh, no, no, no. Now I'm being now I'm being careless. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. I pressed triangle that time. Ugh. Running jump controls. Best running jump controls I've ever seen in my life. Better than Mario. Better than Donkey Kong. Better than Mega Man's. Better than fucking DuckTales. <laughs> what? Oh, I still have one more combo. I was like, what is this? What? Faye is just standing there not doing a damn thing. Fire from the engine room. Oh, no. Can you not throw grenades at me, please? I like those kinds of grenades. Those little, like, they got, like, a little stick on the end. They remind me of playing Metal Slug. Metal Slug has those kinds of grenades. So whenever I see that kind, I always think of Metal Slug. Get Cambo, bitch. I should probably heal up again. Shit, it's now Saitan's almost dying. For a guy who's three levels lower than Faye... He still has way more HP than Faye does. Kind of cool. I think so. If anything, based on what we've seen in the damn cutscene, he's probably supposed to be way higher level than Faye. But again, he is just an old man. There, That might be just how he is. He just has a big brain, not a big fighting ability. Anyway, huh. All right. All right. 
right, all right, all right, and then, whoop, and then, whoop, and then, let's be more careful this time, and then, whoop, oh shit, oh, come on, game, are you kidding me, this is some garbage, fucking, it jumped at an angle, are you kidding me right now, oh my god, this has got to be painful to watch, it's painful enough playing this, but god damn right now, I'm kind of disappointed right now. Not only in myself, but in the world. In the world as a whole. I like that I can do a square X combo now. That's cool. It'll be awesome when I get six, because then I can do a triangle square X combo and be all awesome and do all my things at once. Man, Saitan's attacks are fucking cool. Senretsu! Get said red suit, bitch. I'm gonna look in my menu at the combos I can learn sooner or later, but right now our concern is escaping this bitch, and I'm not doing a good job at it, not to say the least. Uh, get out of here. Oh my god, I almost jumped right into the next hole. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now, let's jump up this time, please. Thank you. Good lord. Okay, okay. Whew! Man! Was that more fucking work than it needed to be? Yes. Jesus Christ. Another save point. Fuck. At this point, we're almost at a fucking episode. No, we're gonna get out of here. Phew, that was close. Yeah, it was. Now let's get the hell out of here, right? Can we, can we climb up these? No, okay. Fuck it. We don't need a save point at this point. Unless, I don't know. Are we about to die? I fuck it. Fuck if I know. We haven't really done anything in this episode anyways. If I do die, I'll just do it all over again. Um, I don't know if I was supposed to do something with this little thing of sand or not. I just was messing with it. And now we're fighting another battle. Big fucking surprise. I'm not even kidding. This game is really bringing out the wanting to cut out battles side of me. It just is. Like, in my mind, I'm just like, man, there's so many battles. I would love to cut some of these out. But then I look back and I'm like, I started not cutting battles out in the last couple Let's Plays I did with battle. I guess I could fat no fast forwarding them is just as bad as cutting them out because then I gotta go and edit it anyways. So it's like I don't know. Most of the time when I give you guys like ask you if you'd like me to cut battles out, most of for the most part, most of you guys is like don't mind seeing every battle. It is part of the gameplay. If I take the battles out, I mean we're literally just gonna get all talking for the majority of this entire let's play because that's what this fucking game is so I suppose I probably should just shut the fuck up and let the battles just be part of the playthrough that's what, that's what it is it's part of the fucking gameplay and I'm showing you the gameplay as I play it why take out part of that I don't know I always appreciate when Let's Players do it though, especially on games like this where it's a lot of battles. Then again, I'm doing the game blindly, so sometimes I might run into some shit like this where I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? Fucking surrounded by guards? Not cool, bro. So now I gotta fuck up a whole fucking gang of guards that think they're gonna chance against me. And then they learn real fast that they're just measly ass corporals. Corporals ain't shit. Corpor corporals ain't shit. Corporals ain't shit. Damn, that fire from the edge room is bullshit. I think that's what most of the damage to me is being done by. Fucking garbage ass fire. Fire. Oh yeah. I love the fact that I can hit five times. That's amazing. Faye, your combo is crazy, bro. Another attack by Saitan already? You are amazing, sir. Ass kicker extraordinaire. Oh, you think your gun attack actually hurt me? Oh, you silly bitch. Get Raijin. DM, son. DM. Pretty sure I did Raijin before. That's that's not a new combo. Ukigumo. 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 That must be a, whatever, a combo for Senor Sitan. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, there's a ladder. Never mind. Hopefully there's no treasures in there, because I'm already out of that bitch. How are we gonna get out of here? Doc, where did you go, Doc? He was right behind me, what the hell? Faye, can you hear me? I am moving the crane towards Wiltal's cockpit. Hurry, go up the crane to Wiltal. We are going under fast. I got you, Doc, but when you're done, you hurry up and get there too, okay? Okay then. Sounds good. 
Let's get Will Tall and go. Wait, before we go get Will Tall, though, is there anything up here? Oh, God. Hey, there's no time to go back. I don't want to go back. I was trying to look around the outside. Okay, apparently two trailer park girls go around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Chick chick. Right, I should probably be careful. I think I can fall, probably. If I can't fall, well, don't make quit making it look like I can, game. Thanks. I don't want to take the chance. Take a chance on... Take a chance on falling. Look at Welltall just sinking to death. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. I think we are there. Okay, cool. Now dive to your doom, Faye. No? Oh, I'll just climb down the rope. Look at that awesome animation and that straight-ass detailed line from paint in, on, ro on the rope. <laughs> Here we go again. You and I seem to have a faded relationship. Indeed so, sir. Indeed so. So... Are we going to get away cleanly, or are they going to chase us down? Probably. That would make the most sense. Anyway, go snatch up the Doc and let's get out of this PC. Come on, Doc, over here. Hurry up. Yay, we did it. We're so cool. Now let's get the fuck out of here before somebody chases us. Gear doesn't seem so broken anymore, does it? Helped us escape. Yeah. That's how we roll, bitches. That's how we roll. Whew. Whoops. Whoops what? Are you okay, Doc? <laughs> well, Dr. Saitanuzuki, feels like you have sacked your sacules and tickled your utricles enough for one lifetime. Wow, dizzy. Sorry about that, Doc. I didn't have time to open up the cockpit. Are you really okay, Doc? Faye, I was only joking. Riding in the hand was not so bad. I can see what is so good about this top-secret experimental Kislev machine. Yeah, when I started it up, it began doing all kinds of stuff by itself. The environmental response system and weight reduction hovering kicked in straight away, automatically, Kajiki. Really? Amazing! Save yourselves, but leave your friends to sink in a sea of sand. Don't you believe in comradeship? Huh? Is this the, the dude bro? Because I might have to go back to my dude bro voice. Oh boy. Who the fuck? Oh snap, we got a gear fight on our hands. Oh yeah. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, he's got a whole army. This is him. It's not very manly of you to to leave your platoon to die while you run away in a gear, you know. Uh, those weren't our homies, so don't try to make me feel bad about it. Aw, oh, great. Three gears on one gear. Here we go. Wait a mo Wait one moment. We're not Ave soldiers. You can't you make a better plea for your life, bro? You come jumping out of an Ave ship claiming you're not Ave soldiers? Come on. Stop trying to fool me, okay? Who do you think I am? I tell you, it's true. Tuh. How pathetic are you? Even if you're the pettiest of the soldiers, how about showing a little spine, okay? And put up a decent fight, please. I'm bored. Stop it. I'm telling you I'm no soldier. I don't want to fight. How nauseating. Why don't you stop grumbling, leave the gear, and run away, bro? Yeah, right. Bring it on, bitch. What the fuck? Who do you think you are? Some kind of S&M bitch with your whips? Put your whips away, little bitch. For someone who doesn't want to fight, you're quite powerful, bro. I see an all-environment model, so that's it, huh? Now I want it even more. Well, you're gonna have to take it over my dead body, son of a bitch. Get camboed in the face. So, I mean, at this point, I can't imagine being able to lose this battle. I mean, this is a story battle. Well, okay, a boss. all boss battles are story battles. I don't know why I say it that way. Like, like duh. But seriously, like, this is one that... Uh, well, okay, I, I actually, I technically, I could have saved it before I fought this battle, so I can't say that this wasn't like I couldn't save it before this. Holy fuck, 219, that was awesome. Yeah, go ahead, use your whips all you want, bitch. 
I love the pain. I love it. It feels good. It feels good on my sexy body. Get comboed in the face. Get comboed in the face. Get comboed in the face. I'ma punch you in your face. Super fucking hard. Rageki to the face. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This bitch ain't shit. This bitch ain't shit. We got this bitch's number. I don't want a dude's number, not really, but we got this motherfucker's number, whether we want it or not. That fucking chain attack does a lot of damage, though. I need to take this fucker out right here, right Gecky now. 223s in your face, son. In your face. Don't smile at me with your wild smile, child. That shit is annoying, making my shit go down. Oh, God. Ah, zero? Really? Really? You're really gonna do zero at a time like this, you son of a bitch? Whatever. You Rageki, you to death then. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Done, son. Done. Oh, no. This is not good, bro. What now? In the heat of battle, I get caught in quicksand, bro. Darn me of all people. That's what this is? It's quicksand? It's pretty earthquakey for quicksand. Damn, it's all your fault too, man. Boy, are you going to get it later. So be darn ready, okay? Okay. Why? Why? But why? Faye is a, one of those guys that likes to use all of the, the five questions. Who, what, when, where, and why. Or and how. He uses those a lot. He always says why and what a lot. He's like, wait, what? But what? Wait, what? Hey, come down here now. I'm not going to kill you. All I want is for you to leave this gear. Huh? Hey, you're not an Ave soldier. I told you that in my intercom transmission earlier, you son of a bitch. You're the one who refused to listen to me, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I remember you were saying something like that. I went off half-cocked and thought you were the enemy. Um, uh, my name is Bart. I'm the pirate that works this territory. My name is Faye. I was arrested for no apparent reason, shoved into the Ave transport ship, and I was nearly going to be sent to the concentration camp until you went and blew the thing to blazes. Anyway, I'm just glad you have been able to survive. Oh, I see. Well, I'm glad I at least helped you out a little, bro. But I didn't expect a civilian like you would be riding in a military gear, bro. Besides, this gear is a brand new model. I've never seen this type before. Let's just say that a lot of things have happened. It wasn't like I wanted to pilot it. Where are we anyway? Looks like we fell into one weird place. I've never heard of a huge stalactite cave such as this existing under the desert before. What? You don't know anything, do you, bro? Where are you from? The desert only covers around thousand charles of the outer layer of the earth, bro. The stratum underneath it consists of indigenous rock. From a sea of trees to a sea of sand and now a stalactite cave. What's next? What are you talking about, bro? Oh, nothing. Never mind. We're in trouble, bro. Look, the hole we fell through has disappeared. We'd better find some other way out. So you want to call a truce for now? At least until we find an exit and get out of here. Yeah, agreed. First, we gotta find the way out of here. So let's get the fuck out. Sounds good to me, dude bro. I don't know what made me compelled me to do the dude bro voice for him, but it just seems like it fits it fits decently. I know he talks kind of smart for a dude bro voice, but I think that makes it more ironic. I didn't want to dry up and die in the desert. Who's talking now? Hey you, I know you're tired, but don't go any further than there. Shut up, you suck our ship, don't you forget that. No, you shut up, just be thankful that we are saved. Uh, what? Excuse me. Is there anyone who is almost dead, with no arms and legs, or in need of an abdominal operation? <laughs> uh, I hope not. No one? Well, that's depressing. <laughs> ah, dark comedy for the win. I like it. Now, who do we got over here? Oh, there's da Saitan. I see. So your young one has not just been so shooting at anything and everything. Then Sigurd. Sigurd? Oh, okay, so this guy's name is Sigurd. 
Yes, he actually calculated this attack, or so he says. As you can see, no one has died this time either. I don't know what kind of voice they do for any of these people. Sigurd, sir, the collection of goods and soldiers from the Ave transport is almost complete. We still can't locate the young master. General Matraya's platoon will scout around again. Okay, counting on you. Yes, sir. Since I'm part of the unit, I'll also excuse myself, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, 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 sir. So what happened to this young one you call Master? He fell into an underground cave with that other guy in a gear. It's near an old excavation site, and he's riding in a gear, so probably be able to come up somehow. We'll try to find him for a while, and if that doesn't work, then we'll just wait for him at our meeting point. You seem to trust him a lot. Trust him? Yeah, I trust he'll get us into trouble. But I never thought I would meet you here. Hugh? Hugh? Hiu? Hugh? It is not a coincidence. It is an inevitable consequence, I assume. Hmm. Huga, are you saying something is about to happen? Huga? Hiu? Saitan is way more important than he seemed like he was going to be at the beginning. I really don't remember this story at all. This is crazy. This is getting real complicated real fast. It's going to be hard to keep track of all the shit in this game, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my darndest. So anyway, oh wow, we can actually finally move around in the gears. I'm glad there's a save point right here as well, because that makes it a perfect place to end the episode. So, awesome. We can actually walk around in gears. It's amazing. In the next episode, we will find our way out of these caves. Apparently we have Bart in our party. I'll have to tell you about the name Bart in the next one. Anyways, see you guys then. Peace.